decided to completely ditch streaming services and start my own personal media server. And last video, I promised that I would show you how to add whatever media you want to it. I'm going to try to explain this as simple as possible, so be sure to favorite this video so you can come back to it later. Now, some of you may plan on just downloading media online. Do whatever you want, but I'm not going to tell you to do that. Instead, I'm going to show you how to rip your own physical media at lossless quality using a free application called Make MKV, along with a disk drive that's compatible with whatever media you're ripping. Go ahead and grab Make MKV from their website and load it up. If you're met with this error, just turn your computer's date back one month. I'll post a new beta key for this message on my story when it finally releases. Once it's ready to go, click on Preferences, then go to the I.O. tab and change the read retry count to 40 and click Apply. Now drop in whatever movie or show you're trying to rip and click on this big button. This will begin opening the disk and when it's done, you'll be brought to this screen. Before explaining what all this stuff is, click on this folder icon. Then create a folder named after the media you're ripping inside of the correct media library folder. So for example, if I was ripping a movie like Alien, I would go into my movies folder and create a new folder named Alien and select that. If I was ripping a TV show like Scrubs, I would go into my TV shows folder, create a new folder named Scrubs, then inside of that folder, create another folder and name it the season number that's on the disc and select that. Now back on this menu, you'll see a list of different video files that make MKV has identified on the disc. These can be your movie, TV show episodes, behind the scenes content, etc. All you need to do is find the movie or TV show episodes you're looking for. This is usually easy to do if you just look at the duration of each listing. Leave the stuff you want checked, uncheck anything you don't want to rip, and when you're ready to go, click this button to begin. When it's done, your video files will be in the folder that you chose to put them in. Just a heads up, if you're ripping TV show episodes, be sure to rename each episode in this naming style. But that is everything. Now you can load up your Jellyfin server, go to your dashboard settings, and scan your media libraries for new content. By the way, if you want to access your media server on devices like your phone, open up command prompt on your media server, enter IP config, and look for your IPv4 address. Then on the Jellyfin app or a web browser, type in your IPv4 address followed by colon 8096, and you should be good to go. If you like this video, be sure to follow for more.